Welcome to RK Varsity Online Classes. In this lecture, I am going to explain you one of the dividend decision policy relevance theory, that is Walter's model. Walter proposes that under certain assumptions, a dividend policy has impact on market price of the share. In the sense, he compares return on investment and cost of capital of a firm. If return on investment of a firm is greater than its cost of a capital, then dividend policy has a relevance. That means if a company retains all the profits, then it will create a more value to the equity shareholders. This is because by paying a dividend and where a cost of capital or required rate of investors is low, they will have other opportunities where they earn lesser amount. Instead of that, if they retain the amount in the company, or reinvest in the same company, then the company will generate more revenues and a more uh, return on investment. That means retaining the profits will create value to the shareholders in the form of increased market price. On the other hand, if return on investment is less than cost of equity, in that scenario, 100% dividend payout would be a good option or optimum uh, dividend decision. Because the company is not earning more money. On the other hand, if the investors are paid dividends, they'll invest that amount in another company or another uh, source of uh, investment where they'll earn more return. And in a third scenario where uh, return on investment equals to cost of equity, it doesn't matter whether a company makes a dividend payment or not. In support of this argument, Walter proposes certain assumptions. That is, the firm uses only internal finance for the future projects. Then the firm does not use debt or equity finance. The firm has a constant return and a cost of a capital. The dividend payout ratio or retention ratio will be 100%. And the firm has a constant EPS. And as usual, the firm has a perpetuity that is a long life. So under these conditions, they propose that dividend policy has impact on market price of the stock. Now we will demonstrate that with an example. According to Walter's model, the price of a stock this equals to dividend plus EPS minus DPS. Here uh, again a dividend is you can say as a dividend per share times I upon K then upon K. So here D, DPS is dividend per share, then uh, EPS earnings per share, then I is rate of return, that is internal rate of return of a company, and K is cost of capital. You can also mention instead of I, you can also mention this as R. So I or R is rate of a return. Now according to Walter, if rate of return is greater than K, so then uh, he suggests that dividend payout ratio should be zero. Why? Because the company is earning a more return than required rate of investors. Then if R rate of return is less than K, then he suggests 100% payout ratio then if R equals to K then uh, indifferent right and next is so this is a ratio between the firms return on investment and required rate if this ratio is greater than 1 then we can uh, say that dividend payout should be 0 now we see here the following information pertains to uh, Messrs. AB Lab earnings of the company 5 lakhs, dividend payout ratio 60%, number of shares outstanding 1 lakh, and equity capitalization 12%, return on investment 15%. So your earnings is 5 lakhs, the number of shares outstanding equal to 1 lakh. 
dividend payout uh, ratio 60% then uh, k 12% and r 15% now that mean your uh, earnings per share this equals to earnings upon number of shares 5 lakhs upon 1 lakh so this equals to rupees 5 is a earnings per share and uh, dividend per share this equals to 60% is a dividend payout ratio so EPS times 0 0.60 so this equals to 5 into 0 0.60 this is rupees 3 now we substitute these values in the equation to get the price so price equals to dps that is 3 plus earnings per share is 5 minus dps is 3 times 0 0.15 that is a return on investment upon 0.12 that is cost of uh, capital then 0 0.12 so this equals to 3 plus 0.15 upon 0 0.12 1.25 1.25 times 5 minus 3 is 2 2.5 so 2.5 upon 0 0.12 this equals to 5.5 upon 0 0.12 so 5.5 upon 0.12 46 rupees let us take uh, or 46 that is just i am rounding it that is 45.83 rounding it to 46 so the price is 46 so when the dividend paid is 60 percent then the price of the stock is rupees 46 now what is that we are seeing is according to walters if return on investment is greater than cost of a capital then dividend payout ratio should be zero so that the value that is market price of the stock will be high so we'll uh, check this now let us say if uh, dividend is not paid so then your po this equals to dividend not paid is zero so then uh, this is five minus zero times 0.15 upon 0.12 upon 0 0.12 so this equals to 5 into 1.25 upon 0 0.12 so this 1.25 I directly brought from here so this equals to 5 into 1.25 so 6.25 then uh, 6.25 upon 0.12 so 52 that is the price is 52.08 if dividend is not paid so if a dividend is paid that is 60 percent of the dividend is paid then the price is rupees uh, 46 if the firm retains the profits and is not paid a dividend then the market price of the stock is rupees 52 so that means dividend policy has a relevance in the sense how much amount to be returned and how much amount to be paid in the form of a dividend has a relevance if a company's return on investment is greater than its overall cost of a capital then dividend payout ratio should be zero if return on investment is less than its cost of a capital then 100 percent payout ratio would be ideal and if return on investment equals to cost of a capital then whether you pay a dividend or you do not pay a dividend it is indifferent so this is what the proposal made by the walter thank you thank you for watching the lecture